Welcome back to my channel. Today is episode four of my 12 days of Christmas and today's project is one I mentioned during the introduction and it's one that I've seen in a lot of little boutiques and a lot of little craft vendor places and it's the stacked books and some of them are personalized with children's names. Some of them are fall themed and I haven't necessarily seen a Christmas theme, but I know they're out there. So first of all, you've got to have some books, and I've seen them done two different ways. I've seen the hardback, and I've also seen the paperback. Now the ones that are doing the hardback, they're actually just painting the whole cover. Now on the paperback, they're just ripping off the whole cover, front and back, and the spine. The and that's what I'm going to do today because it was cheaper for me to find three paperback books at my bargain center. So my store sells them for 50 cents each, so my three books cost $1.50. General rule is to try to find the three books that are approximately the same size. I just dug through a big bin of books and found three the same size. It's just a little more pleasing to the eye if you've got letters on them. Now, as far as embellishments are concerned, this is gonna take about five minutes to do, no hot glue or anything. I've seen the books bound together with raffia. This is some at the Dollar Tree. And of course, you know Dollar Tree also sells jute twine. And I think today I'm gonna to use the jute twine. The, the original idea of these stacked books were done with wooden alphabet stamps. Yes, you can go to the craft store and buy them. They're probably about $10 or $15 with your coupon. But unless you plan on making a bunch of them for gifts, it's just more feasible to buy the stamped stickers that look just like the stamps. If you go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's in the little sticker scrapbook section, there are just tons for you to choose. And you'll just have to look at the stickers they have according to the size of your spine. And they also have some at Dollar Tree, but they're pretty straight looking letters. But if you want some that are kind of cutesy or whimsical, you like a little better, it's worth an extra dollar or two to, to go there and get your stickers. Now, as far as my embellishment, this is one that you would typically buy at Walmart starting November 1st for like $1.97. I just find it easier because this one has a clip on it, but dozens to choose from when Christmas time comes around, but at the craft stores now, you can find some that have little presents, little birds, whatever you can imagine. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and rip off my covers of my three paperback books. Now that I have my book covers ripped off, now I need to decide which book I'm gonna put on the top. Now this one right here has got a little bend to it, so I definitely won't put that one in the center. This one right here has a, a handwritten inscription in it, so I wouldn't use that one. This one right here has a lot of words on it. Some people, I've seen them with lots of words, but if I turn, take this page off, it's, it's mostly blank, and that one word will be covered up with my embellishment. So I definitely are gonna pick this one for the top and then I'll just stack them up here and get them all nice and straight and then I'm going to take my jute twine and wrap it around my books a couple times just like you would ribbon on a gift and it takes approximately a yard of jute twine to go around once so I'm going to probably do it twice so I'll need at least a couple yards and I'm going to lay the center of it on my table and then I'm going to take my books and lay them right on the string Pull my string up, twist it, go around the book, twist it, and I want, and I might go as long as I've run out of twine that I've cut. All right, that worked out perfect. I had just enough to go around three times, and I'm just going to Hold it down with my finger, just like I do ribbon, keeping my book straight, and then I just cut off my excess twine. The next thing I'm gonna place my stickers, I'm just gonna set it up so that my spine is facing up, and I'm gonna put the words merry and bright. Now, and I want you to know that whether you're stamping or you're using stickers, it's a good idea to start from the right side and, and spell the words backwards. It just helps you keep it more even because if you start here guessing how long it takes, you may end up coming up short. So just start from the last letter and work to the left. 
So, you know, the idea of these stamped books are individually stamped letters, and I've seen some that were really crooked looking, but all, it'll look just fine if your letters aren't placed perfectly. All right, my last step is to clip my Christmas pick on it, and I'll find it somewhere to display in the house. All right, I just placed my little stack of books right here on my front living room fireplace. It is so cute for a five minute project. But everywhere I see these, they're 15 to 20 dollars, and I'm able to make it for three or four. So I encourage you to go find you some books to tie up and decorate, and I'll be seeing you soon in episode five. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.